Hi everybody. Hi hi hi. Let's cook. We are cooking beef. Join me. Give the video a thumbs up. I'm playing for you guys music today. No boarding. Join me when you see join me. Give the video a thumbs up. Hi. Hi. I don't know if my light is blinding you, but I'm cooking here. So I woke up and I wanted to cook, then I noticed I didn't even have onions. So if you're joining me, give the video a thumbs up. Give the video a thumbs up. Let me know where you're watching me from. Let me know what's going on. Okay, who's here? Let me know where you're watching from. Say hi to me, say hi. I don't know if I should turn off the light if it's too blinding. Let me know. Then I can turn it off if the light is too too bright. Hi, Flavia. <laughs> Luna is okay. She's over there. She will join us soon, I believe. She will come say hello. Okay, so I'm preparing beef today. So I just wanted to cook with you. We can be the help onions. <laughs> I wish you were my neighbor I would come pick onions because I don't have onions now. So I'm going to cook without onions and we don't have the the powder onions. So I'm really Luna, I can't say hi, people are looking for you. I'm going to give you your nuggets, but where is your plates? Can you give me a small... So... Bring them for me, Miracle. Hi, Jimmy. Hi, hi. Let me give this lady her chicken nuggets and then we begin cooking. I'm making beef today. Hi Lily, how are you? Thank you for joining me today. Oops. Today we are just cooking. I'm just in the kitchen cooking. My music has gone off. Just give me a minute, guys, okay? I'm going to play the music again. So don't be bored. Okay. Oh no, I made a mess. Do not then. Your nuggets are here. Mm -hmm. Come say hi to people though. Come say hi. Say who's here? Say who's here? Let me see. Let's put it better. Say hello. Hello. Hmm. Say, Flav Flavia is asking for you and saying, where is your co-host? Where is your, where is Luna? How is she doing? I said, a horse toy. What? 
Charles. What I say a cowboy. I'm a cowboy? Yeah. Um, who's the cowboy? It's a white lily. No, mom. Fire hmm. hickory. Mm -hmm. Hickory. Hickory? Yeah. Okay, so nice. Does your kid speak Luganda? It's a hickory. Well, I am. Um, she she speaks she does she she no i don't want to lie but she said she knows a bit of my language because um like the greeting people are saying hi so i'm preparing beef as you can see i know that um i know my camera angles are not the best but let me see let me put it here yeah at least now you can see what i'm doing Okay, so Kevin, he she doesn't. The little miss enjoy the nuggets. <laughs> yeah, she she's gone. She's run off. So I'm preparing beef, Sarah. I like your videos, by the way. Your content is lit because um, I like that you can make sugar, sugar. What is it that you made and you used? That was awesome. I love your videos. I didn't know you could make masks from sugar like that and use them and they're effective. I mean, I was amazed. I love your videos. Keep doing those. Keep giving us those hacks. They are wonderful. So, I'm getting my... So guys, I woke up and I checked to cook and I don't have onions. <laughs> then I missed Uganda. It's like if I was in Uganda, I would run to my neighbor, knock on the door and say, do you have onions? So I'm here, but I have no onions. But I, nevertheless, I'm going to keep cooking. Um, what am I looking for? So here, here are all my spices. Okay. So who is here? Let me know, guys. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Let me know what's going on wherever you are watching me from. Okay. Luna, are they still hot? No. They're fine? Yeah. You can use <laughs> You love deep stew. Yeah, that's what I'm going to use. And I have this powder, the garlic powder. So that's what I'm going to use, but I mean, it's crazy because we were at the store the other day and I didn't think I didn't have onions. So then I wake up and I'm on preparing to, you know, cut my vegetables and I look and I don't have onions. So I was shook, I was like, oh my goodness. But then I thought I had maybe a leftover because I always have some in the fridge and there's nothing, there was nothing and there's, but I had everything else. I have the carrots, I have the green peppers, I have everything else. So I said, I'll go ahead and cook because, <laughs> because I, I couldn't, like there's nothing I can do. I still, I just have to cook. So that's what I did. So I'm just going to cook. Hi, Pen. Hi, hi, hi. Nice to have you here. Thank you so much for joining. Pen254, Mama Nation. Guys, check her out too. She's also a content creator like me, like me. Actually, I was trying to play you music, but I don't know if it matters. Maybe I shouldn't care, but let me see. I think, do you care? Richard is becoming, <laughs> um, what did you say? Richard is becoming a fan of you. Oh, Richie, thank you so much. At least he, at least I have a family member that is a fan of me. Many don't really care so much. <laughs> they get bored of what I do. Onion powder can do you a better too if you have as an option. No, I don't have that either. I just have garlic, so that's what I'll use. But I think it will come out okay because I have other, like I have so many other vegetables and I also have, I mean, so many of the, how do you call them of the uh, like this um seasonings that's the one so i have so many other seasonings so that's what i'll do 
and then I think it will come out fine because I've done it before without onions. So I'm playing you guys some little music, so I hope you're not bored because I was like, oh, why not cook with you guys? I also want to make another video today, but I was like, oh, I'll just jump on here and just, you know, go live with you guys and have some bit of fun. You can advise me on what to do. Like now, when I woke up and I didn't have onions, I was like, I should be in Uganda. If you're in Uganda, just go to your neighbor and you knock at the door. Then you say, you know what? I don't have onions. Can you help me? And somebody will definitely help you. So, yeah. So, how is your day, guys? Here, yeah, it's very nice. The weather is so great. Hi, I'm too far at all. How can you prepare beef in front of my camera while I'm starving? <laughs> Do you like beef? I'm not a fan of meat. So it's not like a big deal to me because I don't like meat so much. I think I used to like chicken, the Ugandan chicken. And I also used to like goat, goat meat, if you season it very well. But uh, we haven't tried goat. Actually, I should go to the Asian store and look for that um, meat. No, here yeah, it's raining. Oh, it's raining again, Penny. Oh, my goodness. We, we don't have such rain here, so I miss the rain. But at the same time, you say it's too much. So I don't I don't want it to be too much either. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. Because I want to be able to go outside and do what I have to do. So I think that's annoying. We are here watching with Michele. She is enjoying. Say hi to Luna. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Oh, Michelle! Why am I calling her Michele? Because there's a friend of mine called Michele. Michelle, that's Naomi. Thank you so much. White meat is the best. Careful. Yeah, that's right. Because, yeah, I mean, this is today. We don't eat a lot of red meat as well. We eat a lot of chicken, but yeah, like I'll be honest, I miss, I miss the meat back home. It tastes really different. I mean, I'm getting used to this one here as well, but the fact is that organic beef, that organic food from back home is, is different. It's just different. Waiting to see, just joined. Hi, girl, Irene, thank you for joining. You're confused with Michele Ponte. <laughs> That's right, because I was like, hey, ooh, ooh, should I say Michele? But then Michelle, I think Michelle has a tea. Does it have a tea? I'm, I'm, I don't even know. But I was like, it could be. But then when I saw the name, that's a friend of mine. She's a Kenyan, but in Uganda. Okay, so guys. Yeah, let's cook. I'm going to be cooking beef. I also wanted to shoot another video today. We all miss home. Yeah. Well, 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 well okay we get used we buy we for example for me i always buy like rice and irish potatoes and even the sweet potatoes and i make my own food so that way i don't have an excuse you know i don't have to feel like oh i can't make my food so so that kind of helps but still I feel like um, I wish it was easy. You got this. That's right. That's right. That's right. I got this. I got this. So many times I do, I make my own food so that way I don't have to feel like eat food that I don't want, you know, that helps a lot. Pen254, how are you? How are you? You want to join me? If you want to join, I can send you a link pin and we say hi. You can say hi and see what I'm cooking. Advise me on how to cook it better. Can't wait for the airport story video. <laughs> Ooh, what airport story? When I'm going home. I'm not going home soon, though. I haven't planned anything. Because of COVID, we... They're not in a hurry, but also it's really pricey. So 
and if you have to visit you have to plan ahead of time so i'm um, probably next year who knows how let's just fingers crossed i'll see how it is by next year but uh, as long as covid comes down i think traveling will be a bit easier for everyone around the world really because for example in uganda the u.s embassy has been closed for quite a while and it's crazy because it's it's like almost two years from the time covid started until now the u.s embassy is like no thank you but then at the same time it's crazy because here people are free they are traveling wherever they want to go so i think uganda is still a bit really strict especially thinking of these countries that have high cases of covid so they're like nope we don't want you here um yeah so that's how it has been otherwise so pen tell me if you want to join juko grace area <laughs> uh, hi nabs thank you for joining me i'm cooking beef today i'm cooking with you guys so i decided to just go live as i cook mama nation beef stew with matoke can be better especially when you are surrounded with a cold tasker or guinness <laughs> Yeah, that's right. I miss the meat back home, you guys. Send me some meat. Send me that street meat from Kamocha. Uh, remember the drama? Oh, at the airport. Yeah, that, that was a long time ago, but I, it's still in my mind. Okay, so... So Kevin, what pipeline? How is Kenya? Is it raining? Like Penny is saying, it's raining in the UK. Uh, I also miss the weather back home, by the way. Hi, Sadika Sarah, how are you? Thank you for joining. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are just cooking nothing fancy. And then I'm cooking with no onions, so... <laughs> Yeah, so pray for me that the food comes out okay. Thank you, Kevin. You know how to do it. You know how to do it. Actually, Kevin, I see you always posting people's um, Instagram, follow them on Instagram. Are you able to do that for me? Or is it, do they have to give you some sort of um, admin rights or something? I see you posting for my friend Devi Jr. Those guys are amazing. They are amazing. So, guys, thank you, by the way, for joining me. So, let me tell you a story. So, I wake up and I'm planning to cook and I check and I don't have onions. Is that even an interesting story? My hair is so dry and looks so weird. Hi, Remy. Thank you for joining you in a minute. Okay. Let me post the link on the comment section so that whoever wants to join me is free. It's free to join me. Okay. So let me share the link. I'm going to share the link here. Luna, you are right? So let me share here. Normally... Okay, so that's the link. What, what did I do? There. Okay, I posted the link. So if anyone wants to join me, you can join me live. No man do it for free. No payment, just supporting YouTubers. No, what I meant was, did you do you have to have like a, a demean rights? I know you do it for free. You've always supported us. Coach Remy, how are you? I love your fitness videos because I love fitness. I'm not the best, but I try. Every morning I, I jump. I'm not like really fit, but I try so much not to be so obese. I don't want to be fat and immovable. <laughs> I don't want to be so unhealthy. So I try. I taught myself how to do sit-ups. Not myself, but my husband taught me, but it was the hardest challenge I had to do. So when I give birth, you guys, 
So before I gave birth, I was so small. I was so small, super tiny. I remember I weighed about 54 kilograms. So when I got pregnant, I put on a lot of weight. So when that happened, you become really um, heavy for yourself. You feel like your arms are heavy, your, body, your legs are heavy. So when I went to the doctor, after I gave birth, I asked for the exercises I could do to help me stay in shape, you know. And the doctor said, you can do anything because I had no more delivery. I didn't do C-section. He said, no, you can jog, you can run, you can do anything. So when I went back home, I used to, we, we had a mat, like where to do exercises. Um, so I would go and try to do sit-ups. They were so hard. <laughs> I tried to do sit-ups and they were, so, they were the hardest thing. And um, so I remember telling myself I can't do it because it's so hard. So I tried and tried and tried. And then one day, in like two days, I did my first sit-ups. One, two, three. And I did three. I was like, well, if I can do three, I can do ten. And guess what, you guys? <laughs> in like two months, I was able to do 30 sit-ups. 30 or 50. So at the moment, I can do up to up to 60 plus. I can do depending on how I'm feeling for the day. So you guys. I know somebody asked me the other day, oh, how do you keep fit? How do you keep healthy? Luna, what's going on? Don't make a mess, okay? So I was just saying I do simple exercise. Now that summer has come, I'm going to be do, riding my bike once in a while. And that's pretty much it. We don't do much. I, I'm not like going to the gym. I've never been to the gym. But I like to do simple exercises. Okay, so let me know what you do, Kevo. Do you go to the gym? I'm a moderator at the channels. Oh, you're a moderator. I see what you mean. Okay, that's good. I, I don't know how to do that, but I should do that for you one day if I'm able to do that. But then Kevin, what pipeline? You're not you're not even seriously putting out content. What happened? So I like to do that to wipe out all the fat before I go ahead and you know satay. Is that the word satay? Okay, so now we are going to satay our beef with no onions. Please try and check out on Joan's She Good content concerning about diet and the certified personal trainer. What's the name? Joanna. Okay, I'll, I'll look for her. That will help me so much because I, I like to. I'm not like super particular with what I eat, but I try not to eat so much of the. Oh, Penny, Coach Remy. I didn't see you guys. I'm sorry. Let me add. Oh, what did I do? Coach Remy? Oh, okay. There you go. There you go. What did I do now? <laughs> Remy, I think Remy's internet is so slow. The job I'm doing doesn't give me peace. I'm always busy. Oh, I see. He's trying. Okay. He decides so that. I will try. Can you hear me, Penny? Yeah. yeah. You can, okay. Let me increase the volume here because I think I'm always muted. Okay. Can you hear me now? You can hear me. Okay. Say hi, people are watching. People are saying what's going on. So what's going on in UK? Coach Remy, I think his internet is really slow. Um, he's not coming up, which really sucks. Um, let me remove him for now. UK, raining. <laughs> 
It's raining. raining. Yeah. Raining every day. There's no peace. Is it like raining, drizzling, or like no. thunderstorms? Proper, proper. There was thunder today, but proper. If you go out, you get wet. Yeah. A dark. So when it rains, it's dark. Like how it is in Uganda. Yeah. Let me see. Coach Remy, I'm trying to add you. But either you have your microphone off. Oh, let me mute it. No, I mean him. Remy? I think Remy has his, what is it called? The camera. <laughs> Hi, Remy. Hi. Hi, EBM. You can join us if you want. I dropped the link. EBM says hi, Pen. He's been Remy, long time. Hi. EBM, come in. Tell him to come in. We missed him. Where has he been? <laughs> hi, Mary. Thank you for joining. So, EBM, please join. Penny says wants to say hello to you. Come join us as I cook and bore you guys. I was playing some music. But my daughter is watching TV, so she keeps saying, your music is too loud. Remy? I'm here, Pen. <laughs> he just says his. Remy, hi. Oh, I dropped Please, the can you hear me? Here. I can't hear anybody. Hi. We, 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 we could hear you. We can hear you. Can you hear us? Remy? I think the internet is very bad today. Oh, it's very bad on your end, but we can hear you. I've dropped the link again, EBM. OK, so Luna, what are you doing? Okay. Okay. Pen, come and visit me. Let's take some wine. <laughs> Liz, I'm on exams. No wine. I'm on exams. <laughs> Your glass is here. In fact, let me feel it. <laughs> So yeah. I've had this for like two weeks. I don't know how to drink it too much with no one. This is beginning to look and feel like a culinary night out with a gang. <laughs> Bob. <laughs> ah, okay. A toast to you guys that are watching. Thank you for joining me. Pen, I wish you could come and join me. Then we can play music and say hi to people and dance and sing for them. Bob, thank you for joining. Let me get some ice cubes. EBM, I dropped the link. I don't know if EBM saw it. I dropped the link again. Let me put some ice cubes. That is for Penny. A toast to you. <laughs> A toast to you guys that are joining me. Because the, last, the last time I did the live and I was cooking, someone said, where is the wine that goes with the food? So I was like, oh, okay, I'll get the wine. What is it, darling? Yeah, you don't need ice, do you? No. Okay. I don't want ice. You can even eat your nuggets. Go eat your nuggets. No, I need so, oh, 
Sorry, IBM, I'm here. I know you are busy. <laughs> How are you? Cheers. How are you, Penny? I'm fine. How are you, IBM? Long time. I'm fine. I'm around. Thank you. <laughs> I'm studying. IBM, I'm studying. you look tired. Did you just woke up? I'm so exhausted. Uh, now, uh, I came to our office, the main office. Okay. I get certain files from the office. So I'm waiting for Marie. She went from one store to mm -hmm. pick it up, then we go home. But, uh, I have to go to sleep when I work during the night. I'm already so exhausted. You okay? Yeah. EBM, I don't believe you sleep. <laughs> I don't believe you sleep. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, everyone. Huh? It's cool. I am. Nice. EBM. So you are you beginning to work like you're going back to work? Uh, no, oh, we are somebody still... wants to join. I think it's Kevin. We'll be uh, going. I mean, for our department, we'll go back to work maybe next year. Kevo, how are you, man? Kevo, first I'm one playing. here. We should never <laughs> be the first watcher, the first viewer. Always. This guy is the one who doesn't sleep. Always, he doesn't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> is like has gone. So Kevin. Yes. How are you? You're the always the first I'm viewer. I'm fine. How can you if you sleep this in Nairobi, you can how can you pay bills if you sleep? <laughs> <laughs> so you have to always be a lot. You have to pee a lot. Mm? Yeah. We have to do life with you for one day. Mm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will tell you, you, you asked, asked me before, but I will let you know. No problem. Yeah. I don't know. Okay, so for, for me, I have to leave. Marie's coming with the father. Say hi to Marie. Tell her to put more content on the channel. Yeah, it has been raining, so she hasn't recorded the video. Give a us. Right. But you say, why don't you say tell give her the phone to say hi to us? They want to say hi to you. <laughs> hi. <laughs> I like your channel. Oh, Satisana. Karibu. I don't you know me, I'm from Uganda. I don't even speak Swahili, but thank you. I, I know Karibu. Oh hi Faustina. She's so cute. Luna, 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 come see baby. Let Luna come say hi. Say hi, Faustina. She says hi. Say hi. Yeah, she's called Faustina. I think that. Say oh, hi, Faustina. She's into the baby. You think she will care about you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hi, Faustina. Hi, Tina. Oh, so, so how are you doing? How are you doing? Faustina is shy. So no, are you shy? No, I'm not shy. <laughs> See, I'm not shy myself. Are you shy? Yeah. Um, I'm not shy. Okay, bye bye. Bye. So, bye. So, Kevin, what pipeline? What time is it in Kenya? It is 8 p.m. 8 p.m. Oh, it's not late. I think it's the same. Yeah, it's not late. It's not yet late. Yeah, it's late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. It's six over here. Six. No, Penny, how are you? I'm fine. I'm studying. I'm studying, oh. studying. Yeah. Exams in June. Oh. Online? Online, no, no. Online. 
of college. You are studying online? In college. Online, through college. online. Or you are going to college? College. So right now you are in the... Right now you are, in, the, you are in class? Are you in class? College. Yeah, college. But now I'm asking right now, are you in class? I go to college. Today I didn't go. I go tomorrow, all day, seven oh, till oh. seven in the morning till mm. nine o'clock. Because I missed today's class, so I'll do it tomorrow in the <coughs> evening till nine. Accounting. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So when are you going to? Oh, accounting. Hmm? Yeah, you are a mathematician, peoples. Well, I think so, <laughs> but I'm passing, so. <laughs> Okay, when are you going to finish? Uh, July. July. July, yeah. Oh. So I qualified July, to be an accountant. To Kenya. The same thing. July. Oh, when I'm coming, I check flights oh. because we watch oh. here, they are coming back to UK. They are telling us we have to stay <laughs> airport, money, and check. I'll let you know. But I, I told you you are to coming for. To, I told you you are coming. Okay, but I thought you were coming Kenya for good. Are you again going to? Uh, no, to because again I to have UK? my son. No, yes, yes. Two years, two years. In two years, two years, two years. Hmm? So, so you are going to work in you in UK after. After you have finished your studies? For two years, so I make money. So when I come to Kenya, I don't struggle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. OK, OK. I yeah. understand. Yeah. I got you now. Yeah. Okay. So when okay. I come okay. now, I'm you. coming to do <laughs> assets building. And when I leave here, I've got money. I've got job. I don't want to struggle. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. But you, are, you still you have money. <laughs> <laughs> it goes to my son. I'm on making noise every day. Go and work, mm -hmm. my teenage son. Go and work. I've had enough. COVID even mm -hmm. is not anything anymore. Go and work now. I've had enough. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. 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 The only people who are struggling is it is us who are here in Kenya. But the people in abroad, much older, they have mm. money. But we pay bills. We pay yeah. that's finished. But do you pay do you pay taxes like like Kenya? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we pay everything. We pay bills. You pay water. You pay broadband. You pay phone. Yes, yeah. When you work, they take it mm -hmm. out already. So this is part of pension. When you get old, mm -hmm. they pay you. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. we we left with no money. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Okay, Liz, she's busy. I don't know if she's cooking. Yeah. She can um, read the comments. You know, we cannot feel. Are you seeing the comments? Me, I don't see the comments here. I can't see the comments. No, I don't know. Maybe you are. <laughs> maybe you um, might be pouring some people here, and we don't know. Yeah, I'm cooking. <laughs> so, what are you, you are eating? cooking, but can you read the comments? What are they saying? Yeah? What? The beef stew, what are you cooking it with? Oh, Garlic, oh, uh, rice? Um, uh, so I'll make rice later because this is for dinner. Mm -hmm. So I'm just making beef now. And then for lunch, I'll just have like a sandwich or salad, whatever. I don't usually have lunch anyway. I always have something really small. Then we can have a big dinner. So I'm making beef. Then in the evening, I'll make rice or posho, ugali. I have all these African foods. Recently, I got uh, this is millet, millet porridge. I know you can't see it, but I bought it online at a store. It's really expensive. It's thirteen dollars, just one kilo. Wow. So, That's a lot of but I like to buy it because it's good for me and then Luna 
because I make porridge, I mix in milk, and I can give her as a snack when I'm working, because I work, and if she's if you haven't fed her, she can bother you. So if I have that porridge, I just make it really quickly and give her, because she gets sick of the cereal, because most of the foods here is just like cereal. Um, there's a porridge which she takes in the morning, so you can't make the same porridge. She will not take it. So I like to do that. But which one is that, Penny? Super maize meal. Oh, wow. I don't think I've seen that one here. The one that we have, let me show you. Um, where's the minutes? The one that we have looks like this. It's the one they, where is Pen? <laughs> she has gone. <laughs> but this is this is like the unga, the posho that I use. And it's not really posho to me. It's like really soft. It's like so fine. And it doesn't come out like the actual posho, but that's what we use. Penny, do you know this one? This is like, I got it from, usually these Asian stores have it, but it's what they use for tortellini. I think Penny is busy. Hey, Liz. What is the origin of production of the other one? Of this one? Yeah. It's, um, so it's the same. It's for, it's corn. It's yeah. maize. That one mm. is South African. That's the one we buy. Because Kevin was asking me if we eat ugali. Oh. That's the one I cook. But then it's used, yes. it's usually made to make tacos, not actually posho, but this type of. Ah, uh, this taco. Yeah. So for since I can't make tacos, I just use it to make porridge or posho. Yeah. Okay, that one is good. No, I use rice meal. Mm. <laughs> what is nakuona? Like I've seen What's you. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's okay. nakuona means. Uh, eh, eh, I, know my I know my Swahili. <laughs> Who is that? Nabs, the beef is not ready. I'm still cooking and I'm, I'm just cooking the vegetables actually. Nothing, I haven't even put the beef in. I cook it the Ugandan way. By the time I put the beef, uh, it's already like a sauce. Then I just saute or boil for a few minutes. Somebody mm. saying greetings, pen to five four. She's called Irene Zabu. Oh, so Kevin. What about uh, matoke? Cooking matoke? I've not seen matoke. I know you're cooking matoke like you got it. The closest yeah. I've seen here is plantain. Hi, mm. Lynette. Hi. Mm. Thank you for joining. The closest I've seen here is plantain. Gonja. Do you mm. have plantain in Kenya? Yeah. Okay. So we have yeah. a lot of that mm. here. Mm. But the matoke mm. is not the same. You buy it online. Mm. You don't find uh, it so much in the stores. Yeah, Luz, you have to go oh. to Indian shop. Indian shop. Yeah, and Asian shops. Shop. There's an yeah. Asian shop, shop here that sells groundnuts in their shelves. It's crazy. It's nice. You find do. boiled groundnuts. I get I get a white sweet potato from Uganda. You know the white sweet potato from oh, Uganda nice as well? The mm -hmm. white one. We get it, and then when you boil it, it's gray. Yeah, the sweet one. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, haven't I, I see so many? I, I buy potatoes, sweet potatoes, but they're not. They're not. Mm, they're always really soft, and they're like they don't taste the same. Hello, guys, you got this. <laughs> Lynette is saying we but, got this. Luis, yes, yeah? mm -hmm. but you, you go and see you cooking my talk like you cooking you gali. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the way we squeeze it. <laughs> yeah, you mean. <laughs> yeah, you speak. <laughs> we smash it so much. Uh, sweet potato. <laughs> Those potatoes we yeah, have, yeah, yeah. have them here. <laughs> they still don't taste the same. Mm. These are English sweet potatoes. You bake them. You actually don't boil. You bake them. Yeah. You bake them. Yeah. I just. Oh. Oh, oh no. This In one. Oven, I believe. How do you Hang on. It? This one. Sweet potato. You so you bake it. Those are also GM, so nothing interesting. You put them in the oven. They are GM. It's not modified. 
Yeah, it's modified food. Sim- yeah, simple. It's not organic. Try to eat more veggies and white <laughs> rice without oil or using virgin oil. Yeah, I, I use a lot of white rice. I actually just boil we, we, I just boil it and put garlic and a bit of onion. Most of those foods are processed anyway. Uh, sorry, not processed, but GMO. Even those that they like yeah, to us no. and they say they are organic in the stores and they are more money, it's still not totally organic. So here you just have prayers. You pray to God to stay healthy. So that Africa, we are lucky. <laughs> that is the truth. <laughs> Amen. Because this is where you buy porridge flour for the baby. I bought it or um, I bought it from um, was it King Supers? I bought it from King Supers. Buy my token from Amazon. Still, it doesn't taste the same. I'm telling you, it's it's not. Even the one that comes from Uganda, there's another online store. It's called Af- Pearl of Africa store. It's an online store. They sell this matoke from Rwanda. I believe it's from Rwanda. It's like, it's really f- like fat, like big matoke. It's not the actual matoke because the actual matoke, you can't keep it for more than a month. Mm. You know how it is. It's so hard to keep it. So that one is a different type. So that's usually what they have. Chicks in the house, God vibes. But when we get, when I buy is from uh, from Uganda, and the sweet potato is from Uganda. So the Indian guy brings the big because here we get uh, Asians even bringing stuff from Kenya. So I can get everything, but I have to drive to Indian Indian uh, area. They have everything from Kenya. Everything. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you know what's interesting? Mango. You know what's mm-hmm. interesting? Mm-hmm. You know, there's so much of Kenyan products here and Tanzanian products. I've never seen Ugandan products. And I'm so hot. I'm like, what's going on, Uganda? There's a store. There's a store where you go to. They call them, I, I forget, they call they call them, I forget the name. But it's like a store that has all this junk. It's just junk. It's full of stuff, crap, whatever, mm-hmm. art, products, whatever. And I have seen most of the things are from kenya and tanzania it's like art crafts and shoes and all these things you can imagine i was like can i find something ugandan did i find anything nothing so uganda we need to do something at least i was happy to find something kenyan and ethiopian but I was like, okay, but then how about my country? Like, what's going on, Uganda? I think the taxes are too high, or the government doesn't care about exporting stuff. Even it's when you go, like, I find so stuff. many. My husband takes a lot of coffee, so we usually he usually he's 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 so African now. He likes to usually look around and see things that are from Africa or at least from mm-hmm. Uganda, or Kenya, Tanzania. So when we're buying coffee, he looks around and reads and reads. And then he found one from Tanzania and Kenya. Now those are the, I think I even have a, a thing. That's the one he always buys. <laughs> it's from Kenya. It's um, even the guy is there, the name, the guy that he exports here, the, where they got the idea from, the one that started the company. So it's, it's like gives you that bonding back home. Hey, that is good. Kenya to the world. Yeah, um, to the world. Uh, and how is the beef yeah. getting on, Liz? Show us the beef, the beef stew. How is it getting on? No, I haven't <laughs> put the beef. It's still here. I'm just oh. going to put it. So then I can put my spices. It takes a while. Oh, okay. Hi, girl. We export raw materials. What raw materials do we export? I think it's only coffee, but even still, I don't see the coffee here. It's it's really not very good for us because um, there's so much we can give and we are not doing anything. Because we have a, a ton of coffee, just like Kenya. A ton of coffee, so much coffee, in fact. And in Uganda, it's crazy. People don't take coffee. They take tea. So you don't use so much. But if you're taking coffee... Um, actually, I was thinking, you know, in Kenya, I don't know if you guys have um, the movers, like people that help people move, like movers, like a company that help people move to a different house, you know, from one house to another. 
We don't yeah, have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have, we have, we have many companies. You have Same many. Now, yeah. I think yeah. in Uganda recently there's a YouTuber that update uh, uploaded a video about that, and we don't have so many of those people. So mm. yesterday my husband was saying <laughs> that's a good business venture because when we were moving, when we lived in Uganda back then, it was a hassle. We had to to pay. I think we had two big uh, what are they called? Big trucks. But then our things got spoiled. Something was breaking. Like they don't take care because if it's a company, then you're liable, you know. But if you go and pay to get just get a truck, it's all up to you. So in fact, he wanted to drive the truck, take the things back and forth, but that didn't work. So we had a friend, a professor guy that helped us, but it was a hassle. And at that time, I didn't even have so, so much energy. We lived on the last floor. So imagine carrying, they call it kubeba in Kiswahili, kubeba everything down. <laughs> Go back. In fact, I remember in the evening I fell sick because we had to kubeba all these things from upstairs, the last floor, and there were how many floors? One, two, three. There were three. So we had to put everything down into the truck, everything, the whole day. I didn't even eat. By the time I rested, I just almost collapsed, fell out. So I just thought of that and I was like, Imagine if there was a company you just call, pay them a certain amount of money, and they help you. Just tie everything yeah. up. We didn't have so many people that were available because we were given only one, like two day notice to leave the house. Something was going on. That's a story for another day. But, <laughs> but we were robbed. Anyway, that is the thing. We were robbed. It was so bad. And I think because they were saying this Muzungu, in the area and they were targeting us and we believe it was an inside job from the realtor it was so bad pain it was bad kevin because at that time i was really sick and because so mike had to go do what do they call it uh renew his uh, uh work permit whatever thing visa so i was like mm -mm, let me go to my sister's house so i went to my sister's house and that very night because he left on friday friday night so i stayed home and prepared myself to pack and go to my sister's house so as i packed in fact i had to call him and tell him you know what i'm not feeling okay let me just stay because it was a, a very, very beautiful apartment so big so nice everything was in there um the shops were downstairs so that as like i wasn't going to suffer if I need anything, I can just call my brother. My brother lived, you know, right across. So I was thinking twice. Imagine if I'd stayed, I would be dead. So in my heart, I was like, let me stay. But my sister called that very morning and said, how are you? I said, I'm not feeling well. I'm so sick. And he said, she said, you know what? We're coming to pick you. I said, no, I'll come myself. So I packed and left. The very moment I left, maybe the, there were cameras the building was so big but it was a busy area so when i left these guys came the following day that was saturday because we were supposed to come back i was supposed to come back saturday night or sunday night because mike was coming back on monday or sunday night you guys the way they broke into the house they just broke the door they not the doorknobs were not there nothing our bedroom they put everything upside down. I was so traumatized. We didn't know what to do, where to begin from. They took everything, max everything. I had some money that I just withdrew. They took every coin. They put every all our documents down. Luckily, they didn't take any of our, maybe break our documents or anything, but it was so bad. So that is the time we had to, that is the story I was I was telling you before we had to relocate, you know. Yeah, I, I don't think I don't think it's something you can forget because even we had a visitor actually that day that was living across the room. He was from uh, Israel. He was touring, so he came and wanted to live with us, and it was an era Airbnb, is that the right word? So he was living across in our room. The house had about four bedrooms, it was really big. This guy's room had his laptops, his money, everything. They didn't even touch it because they knew our bedroom. So they just went to our bedroom and took everything, gadgets, whatever. 
but they didn't touch the other room, the door across. Isn't that crazy? It was open. Ours was even locked. So this guy came, came back before me because I didn't want to stay in the house. I just, just left. So when he came back, he found the door open, broken. Then he was like, something is fishy. Why would these people break their own house? <laughs> so that is when he sent a message to one of the caretakers and the guy called Mike. Mike was still away in Kenya. And I was, of course, at my sister's house and he said, run to the house and see what's going on. Oh my gosh. I reached the house. I could not bear it. I just sat down. Do you know like everything of yours from the drawers? Everything is just down. The mattress upside down. Everything is broken. The kitchen is intact. Just the bedroom and where I think they thought we had other things. Gadgets all gone. Camera, laptop, phone, whatever. Anything coin. Watches. What? So we began from zero. That was a very, very hard time. Because we had nothing. Yet Mike had closed his account because he was planning to come back. So we had the cash and we were planning. We were, we were, like we didn't know what to do. Maybe put it on your account. What? Because for he had closed his account and he wasn't going to have a bank account in Uganda. And he had to close it. Everything was wiped. We went to the police. Of course, they are looking at us as billionaires. You guys. Hey. <laughs> for the dog service, we're like, what? We don't even have money. <laughs> so <laughs> it was um, it was a tough moment, but it was humbling because if had I stayed in that house, I would be dead, totally dead. Because the way they did it showed they had all these machetes. Because the, the doors were, it was a good apartment, very expensive. So they had, you know, like really good wood. I haven't even seen it here, like a really heavy door. You know those doors that have like double wood? That's how it was with very heavy, and they broke it. They brought all the, and, and imagine even they did the same for the bedroom, meaning they took their time to think, because there's no way you can break a door in just one minute. We were so terrified. We didn't know where to live. Where is it safe? You guys. So live well. What, what, if I can ask you, what about security at the gate? That's why I'm telling you, it was an inside job. Oh. When we went, that's what we thought. Of course, we don't know who did it up to now. And we don't care because at least, I mean, it's past, it's been years. But what happened was the following day, I, of course, we slept in the same house with an open window, <laughs> you guys. So I couldn't sleep the whole day. I was moving. Anything that would knock, I'd be like, those are the guys, they're coming back to finish us. So the following day, I went to the camera guy, the, um, how do you say, the, the caretaker. Yeah. The caretaker guy, um, I asked for the footage for Saturday. Yeah, to leave you. Yeah, the footage on the um, camera. What is it called? The, yeah, the camera, whatever. Yeah, CCTV. Yes, CCTV. 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 So I asked him, and imagine that the, the footage was deleted. We only they only had for Thursday. Then you know the reason they gave us that the footage deletes itself after a few days. I said, why do you have the footage of Thursday? You have Wednesday. You don't have Friday and Saturday. So. That shows you that something was going on. And the police people, yeah, yeah, yeah. they also want money, which we don't even He was have. among of them. That was a deal. Yeah, and they thought we had a lot of money. And honestly, there was not money. It, there, it was not like it was going to be shared among 20 people. It was simple money. Maybe they, what they could do, they, they thought maybe he was uh, one of those pensioners. It was too bad, Flavia. But um, yeah, th that's what happens. Is I mean, I'm just lucky that I, I didn't stay because I would be there. Because for them, mm -hmm. the, the thing was, they were just waiting for him to be away. They, they were not scared of me. They can just put a cloth on my mouth. And that's it. And, and I think that was good. They did what they did because had we stayed longer, who knows what would have happened. Because prior to that, I remember doorbells would ring. And I would check and they would ask me, um, I was looking for Sam. And I'm like, who is Sam? 
this is our apartment. This is where we live. Oh, sorry. Another guy would come. No, do, ring the doorbell. I go check. Who was that? Oh, I'm looking for Samuel. So they had been like trying to see are these people still here? Because that happened on Thursday and Friday, and we left Friday night, Friday afternoon. So they had been like trying to see how they can maybe if you open the door, they can see what you have. I don't know what that they were checking, but they were checking on us. So mm. <clears throat> yeah, if you have been robbed before, you know what I mean. I yeah, but Liz, that. could it also be the people in the bank? They knew uh, what's his name had closed the account. Your husband had closed the account. That be the no, I'm telling you, it's because of the color. People see uh, everyone that is foreign is rich. Mm -hmm. That's the mentality. Because we didn't have any much. We had just moved into the apartment. We didn't even have chairs. Mm -hmm. We didn't we we like had basically just trying to um establish ourselves in a new place. And a lot was happening. So <coughs> someone is asking for my WhatsApp number. Who says I have a WhatsApp? You can send me a message on on, on Messenger. I don't have WhatsApp. Or Instagram. Oh, Instagram, yes. Yeah. So that's it. That that is a story which I don't think my husband is 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 ready to ever talk about it because that time it was hard, especially because he has we ha he had so much he had gathered on his tablet, on his camera, and his laptop. He had used it for four years in Uganda, so he had a lot of memories to hang on, and now they're all gone. So, so Liz, before, before before you moving to USA, you, you started living in uh, Uganda with your husband. Yes, because that's where we met. Yeah. You were lucky. Why? Be <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why am I lucky? You were lucky. <laughs> why? Because I wasn't cute. Not, 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 okay, not all uh, white men can take into serious relationship like that, you know? Others are, are using this. Uh, Kevin, girls. stop being Our controversial. Girls. Love is love. Stop being controversial. No, no, no. no love is love. For money. Okay. <laughs> for Liz, he met the one who was serious with relationship. Mm. I, think, I think it's mm -hmm. all... It's the same. In, in, in Uganda, you also find... Oh, do you want to see my beef? I don't know if how I, how I can do it so that you can see how far. It's now almost ready. Let me see. Can you even see? Can you see? Can you see? My, yeah, my yeah, mouth see. is watering. Yeah, ah, Liz, you're making my mouth water. <laughs> <laughs> I, made it, I made it like, um, it's now like... Um, you know, like that, how do you call it? Uh, the Kenyan food you always make and eat with ugali? Nyamachoma. It's almost like that. No, no, no. That's, not, that's not nyamachoma. <laughs> okay, nyamachoma is what? It's the one which is grilled. It's the one which you grill. It's what? That one is... You grill it. Nyamachoma is grill. That one is... Yeah, grill. Grill. Oh! <laughs> Please, okay. please okay. don't insult, don't insult our nyamachoma. We will not <laughs> like you. <laughs> the one we roast. Everybody like this nyamachoma. You must. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So where are you, Kevin? Where are you? Hmm? I'm on the top light now. Uh. Please, you're saying don't insult our nyamachoma. You must eat like this, isn't it? <laughs> Ribs. Kevin, come help me open. I have issues opening containers. Push oh it out. God. Push it down. <laughs> push. You put no, Liz. Push it down. Push it. How do push it. Push it yeah, down. Right. You push it oh. and then you twist. Push it and twist. I've seen somebody say you hit it. Huh? Where do you take your image and I oh. usually work out? 
<laughs> you know, there's a time I was wanting to open, um, mm. you know, those salsa, what is it called? Salsa sauce, the one for Totellini's pen. Those ones I can't open. I can't open. It's so hard, but I've learned a thing. You just hit them down a little bit on the counter. Mm. Um, um, do you know how to make meatballs? Try to buy those. Yeah, I'll try those. Those are the, that's from uh, I've never actually tried them. Actually, my meat is almost ready, but I'm going to put some vegetable broth. Then I cover and we can chat properly. Ooh. So Mm -hmm. Yes. There's a, there's a a YouTube TV I watch called uh for what is it called? Tuko. Tuko News. I, I see a lot of stories that you're talking about. People, <laughs> oh, they brought me here, then they tied me in a room. See, I I I, mm -hmm. I put a story. It's an old video when I just started shooting, but mm. I dated a psychopath. Mm. So I I know what you mean. <laughs> that Liz, psychopath. Liz, I watch your psychopath. You know, uh, everybody, can we please support uh, Liz? <laughs> so can you please support uh, Liz, guys, to watch the videos? I watched her psychopath. Guys, I know you subscribe to Liz. Give her watch that's, time. That's watch like one of my first video videos. And watch them, please, guys. Please but, watch but, them. But some yeah. human beings are yeah. like, mm -hmm. I don't know what's wrong with them, but if you're dating one that is like a psycho, you don't even know. But they put the blame on you. They, like everything is your fault. They make you miserable. But because you don't know that they have a condition, you hang on. At the end, they might even kill you. That's how they are. They're out of the blue. So there's a story I read on Tuko of a lady, the Mwakazis, the new couple. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, we are getting you. The Mwakazis. Mm -hmm. You know the Mwakazis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one who, yeah, yeah, we know them. The wife's story is almost similar to my story. They met online. For me, no, for me, actually, that was a Ugandan. It wasn't like a foreigner. But his story, mm. yeah, mm. they met online, the Mwakazis. But before that, she has a story of her ex-partner -pa that was crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, Liz, wait, Liz. On Tuko, there's a new one where the man chopped her, head, her, her, her face. Have you seen there's a new one? Oh, I yes. Seen You've seen it, Kevin. The one the man yeah, cut yeah, her up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ex ex man. Yeah. Who came on the stage next to her house. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But, I watched it. but what happened? Can you tell me the story wait, briefly? Wait, wait, Liz. Let me tell you. Wait, Kev, wait. But do you know? Do you yeah, know? Let me tell, tell you. A psychopath knows who to choose because they cannot choose me. I'm too strong for that. A psychopath mm -hmm. always knows the woman he's going to do what he's going to do to. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Kevin, someone is saying you should try Uganda, a Ugandan girl. Maybe you, you will know why why Mike did not leave me in Uganda. <laughs> That's funny. My subscribers are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Ken Kenyan ladies and the Ugandan ladies, they don't they don't rhyme. They are not the same. Mm -hmm. They are not the same. But I like Kenyan ladies. They are I know, I know. They are so expensive. My nation can throw stones to me, but they are not the same. <laughs> <laughs> I like. They are so beautiful, though. I remember the first okay, time I, 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 I had, when I was on campus. They have, they have, I had they have a respect, day. you know. They have what we call respect. Yeah? When they are giving you food. They kneel down, they give you, but not for Kenyan ladies. They can't do that. Yeah. <laughs> not, not everyone kneels, by the way. But at yeah. least it's um, 
I think it's just like what you're saying is like they have respect. That's true. I agree. But for example, in our tribe, we don't we don't kneel for like partners or what. We only you can only mm. kneel if it's like your grandma, Shosho, mm. whatever. Like just to show some respect, but it's not required. Mm. So that's like a tribe thing. For us, how we greet you, just give a hug. But most <laughs> the other Baganda, the people from the central, you have to kneel. But you don't have contact with the person. But for us, it's the opposite. You just hug. So try the Ugandan girls that Edith has said it. Simple Edith. She has said try the Ugandan girls. <laughs> <laughs> Let us look for the money first. Yeah, yeah, first look for the money because even the Ugandan girl we want a good lifestyle. <laughs> yeah. We say look for the money girls will chase you. Don't chase girls. Mm. <laughs> 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 oh, so no money, no girls. Eh? <laughs> yeah, no money, no girls. No play, no money, money no money, no honey. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I see. For ABC, don't receive my notification. Facebook is fake like that. But if you have mm -hmm. notifications on YouTube, you should be able to receive them. Facebook is strange. Even on my birthday, I go back and I didn't see people posting. Then my, like a week later, I start to see messages. I'm like, Facebook, what's wrong with you? Mm. So, okay, for, you're on a mission now. You're going to look for money, then travel to Uganda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I look for money first. Then I'll start <laughs> chasing you. Okay. They'll, they'll start chasing <laughs> <laughs> But not now. Now I don't have anything. So, Mama Nation, you say that you are coming on July to feast your mom. Hello? Are you getting me? No, I'm getting second vaccine on July, so I have to wait a bit. Uh, I'll let you guys know, but I'm, I'm not sure which month after that. I have to get second mm. vaccine. Huh? So you, have, you haven't get, you get a second jab? Because it has to be 12 weeks. Remember I put there, May, I got first one. So 12 weeks, July is the next one. I think you no. have to wait for three weeks. Three weeks. No, 12 weeks. Days. 12 weeks. 12 weeks. <laughs> yeah. From first vaccine to the next one is 12 weeks. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So you have to wait yeah. again. Yeah. Everything will, will be okay. As long as you get, I uh, saw so you, you, you add your passport back, yeah. a new passport, yeah. you are happy. Yeah. <laughs> Everything will be okay. <laughs> Getting the passport is important. Even tomorrow I can get mad and fly out. <laughs> So. Yeah, it's only that you take on a ticket and fly yeah. out. Yeah. Just wait for the second step, then you come. Mm -hmm. It is. We don't kneel. But if you, you want to kneel, you go and kneel. <laughs> <laughs> She's saying we kneel. But I shouldn't mm -hmm. be saying we don't kneel. Me, I've never, for example, anyway. For like growing up, I would never kneel for my mom or my dad. Like that is another tribal thing that is required. But for us, we didn't. As long as you have respect, you're not standing right at the. You know how pe African parents are. You don't come and stand right in front of them and start yelling. No, you'd like humble yourself, talk to them, and we we didn't have growing up really. It was a freestyle, and I, I'm glad it was the way it is. Because if you're so much into, like there's a friend of mine I interviewed, she's in UK with UPenn, but she said when she came here, her biggest challenge was talking to people facing them face to face. You know how it is here. If you're talking to me, you look at me. Now in Africa, they say if you're talking to me, if it's an elder, don't look into their face. So she had a problem adjusting. But for me, I, I don't think I had that problem because... Uh, growing up, we're always told to say say how you feel. Don't be quiet. Don't be a dummy. Like I think it's a mixture of the um, of the 
West, not Western, but the current situation plus, of course, the African culture. So it's not like I was typically into this uh, kind of closet where you don't have to do this, don't do this, don't do that, all these myths. So if you brought up like that, you're going to have a hard time adjusting to the whole world, you know? Because people, like for example here, people <clears throat> like my mother-in-law, I can just call her by name, you know? Hi, Pen. How are you doing today? That's another whole thing. Now, if you're trained to know that, actually, that is my hardest part. The rest is I'm okay. I can look straight into do all this thing, but calling them by their name, it's like I'm like, wait, what? So, Kevin, imagine if you have your, if you're married, you have your mother's in law, father in law. Imagine going to them and you're like, hey, hi, Michael, how are you? How are you today? And you're like talking to them like that. That's how it is here. So that has been hey. the best. But I remember yeah. when I, I told them that I would just call them Jaja. Jaja is like a word for grandma. Mm. Grandma, so I said, since we have a little one, we can just call you, I can just call you Jaja. That makes it easier for me. So I can say Jaja, then their name. I can say Jaja Kevin, Jaja Penn. That makes, that gives them like some additional respect, but not me just coming and just calling you pen. Oh, high five, pen. How are you doing? Oh, oh my gosh. I'm like, no, 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 not me. <laughs> it's like, we're not at the same level, you know. Wait, wait, please. You're saying that I've had friends' daughters, when you go to their houses, the daughters call their mother, mother. Thank you, mother. I'm looking and saying, how can you say that? Thank you, mother. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, mother. That's okay. Hi, Juliet. How are you? Accept me. I only want to love, care, respect, etc. But about money, I have my hands work for myself. <laughs> You're ready for the Western world, my friend. <laughs> so, so Lisa, all parents, you call their names. You don't call like uh, it's not my just, father. You know? It's not just about the parent. So the system here is you call someone by their name regardless. So if, if I'm your boss, for example, you're my boss. I'm not going to say, sir. Mm. That's like, it's not common here. It could be different for pain, by the way. But here, people, mm. you just call them by their name. And to me, it's kind of like crazy. Like, why not give them a title? You know, it's your, it's, I'm your boss. But people will just say, oh, call me Jennifer. For example, my supervisor, they don't care. They just be... Hi, hi Elizabeth, how are you? What name do you go by? Then you just say Elizabeth. Oh, okay, I'm Jennifer. That's it. So the following meeting, you're just going to say, Hi Jennifer, good morning. That's it. There's no culture Mother. that forces you to be so humble. If you do those things, people are going to call you a coward or they're going to, it's going to be strange for them too. So you have to adjust. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, modernity not that diver. So no, I'm not a Muganda. That's I think that is what you. That's why you keep saying. That's why you're keeping. You're like pushing it on me. I'm not a Muganda. Like I'm. I'm. I'm from the western part of Uganda. We don't kneel. You only kneel if you want. It's not a requirement. Like it is in the in the central. Like that's what I was explaining. Like for us, we were not forced to do so much like that. <laughs> anyway going forward so kevin prepare when you win the green card prepare to even the an old man of 70 prepare to just walk to them and say hi michael hi sam you're not going to be like hi 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 sir hello sir hello madam no <laughs> yes i just wanted to call them by their name but please Mm -hmm. When you call them, okay. When you call them, we are their names. They, they, they see you that you are rude. Yes. Many, many companies. Yeah, they see you that you are rude. Yeah, stop it. Yes, stop stop it. it, sir. Yeah, or madam. You know. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you. So when when I took my husband to my mom, like in the village, <laughs> when we went there, and of course, he wants to know how to relate to people in the villages. I said. Even if you know their names, they're not going to help you. You're not going to call them by their name. And that was a shock. He said, why? Because you can't call them by their name. He said, but why? <laughs> if, 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 um, 
if like we had to meet so many relatives my aunties my great great aunties my i don't have grandparents but i have uh like i have grandparents from like say not like exactly my grandparents i know what you, i know you understand what i mean like yeah. maybe relatives to my mom stuff like that so we would go to these families and i would just tell him to call them mama and it was strange <laughs> it was so hard it was strange for him even my mom he after now he still struggles because he can't call sometimes he's like so what should i say i'm like if like talk because we usually talk on phone and they call us and stuff or even when we go to the villages we call so he he says mama Liz now and it's it's just what we do and then my daughter is like that's not mama Liz, that's my grandmother like what are you guys saying and i'm like this whole thing is so messed up <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny it is it is very different by the way and also the thing of, uh, you see, like now you expect people to like come to your house, say hi. People don't do that here. Like if you have a friend, even if it's a friend, it's, it's more or less like a cyber friend, like an internet friend or a phone friend. That's how to me it feels like. Because all you do is like talk to them on the phone or meet them out. Like it's not so... They don't have this intimacy we have, you know? I don't know if you understand what I mean. Because in Uganda, someone can just call you if they're in your neighborhood, Kevin. They'll just be like, yo, Kevin, how are you? I'm driving by. Or I'm on a matatu. I'm coming that side. Can I see you briefly? You're not even on the program, but they're just like wanting to say hi. You meet up, have a sugar cane, have coffee, and you continue go to town. That that is not here. If you if you haven't told me two weeks prior, I, I'm not. You're not in my program. You haven't told me to. I'm like what? Even your own relatives, they have to make an appointment. Appointment. <laughs> hey, you cannot just what? drive by. Like for hey, now I'm used. And now I'm getting used to that. And I'm like, if I go back to Uganda and live there, I'm that people are going to think I'm mean, because now yeah. that's what is in your system. You think people are going to call you fast on the phone to make an appointment? Hey, are you home? Okay, I'll come back in two. I'll come by in two weeks. Is that okay at two p.m.? <laughs> I'm telling you. Imagine hey. that. Imagine that's your mom. Hello, hey. Kevin. Will you be home? <laughs> that's so crazy. Hey. You guys, you guys. Hey. Uh, it's it's funny, huh? Yeah, Liz, I'm going to have to go because it's uh, seven, it's seven o'clock, and I cook my son dinner. <laughs> seven. Yeah. Oh, thank you guys for joining me. It was really wonderful mm -hmm. chatting with you guys. You made my day. You made my evening. My food is ready. I cooked with you until the food is ready. Kevin, Let's see. you didn't even taste. Where is the taste of the meat? Let's see you taste. No, Edith is saying today you have few words, pain that I've been talking the whole time. So they want to hear from you. So before we close, oh. they want to hear from pain and what? Yeah, they want to hear from you. From pain. Can you pen oh. finish? For me, what pen. did she say? What does she want to hear? Ah, she said today you just have few words. They want to hear something from you. Right. My name is Penny. I'm a Mama Nation. I'm Kenyan. I live in the UK. I live in the UK. I started my channel. I met through Liz that way. Through Liz, I met Kevin. So we are regular. So we know each other. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. <laughs> That's all. Kevin, our pipeline is a major subscriber, is a viewer. Oh my goodness. Yeah. By the way, Kevin, yeah. um, what? Um, I saw you posting on one of the videos I uploaded about what was going on with uh, other YouTubers. My video was yeah. not negative. <laughs> any okay. name. I'm just saying okay, my video no, was not negative. I just posted because that's what we do as YouTubers. You just post what is trending. But it yeah. wasn't negative yeah. in any way. Yeah. No. I cannot post anything negative on my channel. East Coast and West Coast, even in America, do not get long, along. But the the platform is for everybody. Everybody is a platform. So let's yeah. just stop 
but also we don't know what really exactly happens so usually we just jump on and say what we have to say but we don't even know the full story that's why i said for me i just i just like randomly did a general overview but not on any side you know so yeah that's good. <clears throat> so flavia said thank you for sharing so if you guys check penny out pen two five six two five four why do i keep saying taking you to uganda <laughs> and also they can come to my channel and, and subscribe also soon i'm starting but, but, but kevin your channel I told you, yes, you don't I'll even care okay, so i have many appointments you see this kenyan all of these kenyan youtubers let me tell you they want to meet me but i'm fixed the one you see mr rudy d all of them they want to meet me so I'm fixed up it. Edith is saying that's why I love Uganda. You visit without an appointment, then you find your boyfriend with another girl. <laughs> <laughs> now here, by the way, mm -hmm. I think here if you have a cheating boyfriend, that could can easily work for them because if you want to visit them, unless mm -hmm. you have the key, because somebody can just pretend and just say no, don't don't call me. I'm busy. I'm at work. <laughs> you know. That is ambushing. But in Uganda, in Uganda, where you just bump into them, <laughs> that is ambushing. That is ambushing. How about in yeah. Kenya? I think in Kenya, they mark the territories. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean? <laughs> you leave, I leave they my shirt, I leave my bra. <laughs> Not shirt. Not shirt. <laughs> ben, what do you have to say? I reckon, I reckon Kevin is shy. No, me, I leave my, my G string under the bed, under the pillow. <laughs> under the pillow. <laughs> under the pillow. That's what Kenyan ladies do. <laughs> you know what? How, you can mm -hmm. even leave things like earrings. Just put them in a place where the man will not see them, but the next girl <laughs> will see them. You can put them in the bathroom somewhere and somebody's bathing like, Who's Wait a minute. No, Liz, you forgot something. You have to leave a condom paper. <laughs> <laughs> ben, ben, you're crazy. <laughs> That's how <what> they are. <laughs> and the girl will come oh. asking, but baby, we don't use. Where did this come from? Tell me now. <laughs> anyway. Uh, nice to meet you guys. I'm going to love and leave you. I need to go and cook for my son. Dinner. Your son so, should not cook for himself. I call them posh children. In Britain, they are called posh children. They don't cook. <laughs> the, wife, the wife is going to suffer. <laughs> the wife is going to be the one suffering. So, Liz, but that is thank okay for... because I also do a lot of cooking. <laughs> if I'm off every day, I have to cook. Mm. There's nothing I can do. That's what we are meant to do. Okay, so Liz, thank you for giving Hosting us this us. opportunity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Now, so what video should I upload next? Uh. You guys can give me ideas. Huh? Give me ideas. Please do do a do a do a makeup one. Have you done makeup? I don't wear makeup. Team natural. <laughs> Team natural. Even the hair. That's why yeah. I don't have a wig. It's just my hair all weird. Mm -hmm. That's it. Huh? But um, <laughs> so I have foundation, but I don't know if that's makeup. Like that's what I can wear sometimes if I'm shooting and I want to look all different, but I don't know how to put this eye on, shadow. On, yeah, no, I don't no. know how to put the uh, the extension here on the eye and then a blue and then I have a line that is red. I don't know how to do that. Okay, I'll give you, Liz. I'll give you a tip. Do a fashion. Do you have African outfits and do a fashion haul? I don't have so many African uh stuff i think i have like four two maybe it two. doesn't matter do it do it 
Because I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm I'm losing the weight. When I lose the weight, guys, I'm coming with my fashion haul. <laughs> I think make up. I'm going to make up soon. Yeah. I think that is for the girls that are into fashion. I'm not I'm not so much into that. I'm just really local. I'm a village girl. I don't know. Because I would, that means I have to put makeup, I have to look really nice, which I don't think I can. I don't know how to do. If I had you as my neighbor, you would train me. But I have no one to help me style my hair and put bling bling and look like what Kevin would like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't like girls to also wear makeup. A lot like of makeup. makeup. A lot of Kenyans yeah. do. So how do you deal yeah. with that? The, the 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 men in Kenya like you natural, this natural actually. Yeah. Really? Yeah. But yeah. a lot of Kenyans yeah. they wear a lot of yeah. makeup Ooh, and they have I want to pierce my nose. Recently, I was thinking about that. I said, on my birthday, I'm going to put a pin on my nose. And my husband was saying, when did you develop all these ideas? <laughs> <laughs> he said, make sure I don't pull this one on the nose that makes you look like a cow. A pull. <laughs> <laughs> cow. You know? A cow. I have. But you have that one. To have. So he said, the rest is okay, but don't put this one, which will make you look like a cow. <laughs> <laughs> so now in the next video you will see me with a pin on the nose i even sent to my sister a picture and she said where are you getting all these ideas <laughs> i even want to put a tattoo but you see my skin is dark now i said which tattoo will look nice on this dark skin at least for you pen you are a bit light skin so you can put a tattoo that will be seen mine will be like my same body <laughs> maybe she's got, having it no How i got you know? <laughs> I got burnt, and people asking me if it's a tattoo. Where is it? Oh, is it? simple. Edith is saying I you got must burnt. American street food. There's no street food here, unless, unless it's like um, what they call um, like test of food. It's like a, you ha it, you have to wait for an event. But we don't have street food. I don't live in New York City. I live in a village. Try makeup. No, I don't even have the makeup. So I don't know how to start. Because I would need the eye pencil. I don't even know it will go sideways. People are going to thumbs down my video. I can't try it. Then people will be like, what is he doing? <laughs> I can't. Uh, 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 Pen knows how to do that. Pen, you can do that. But Pen, you haven't been uploading also. I haven't what, I've not been uploading because I've got DIY going on. I've got studies, love. I've okay. got studies. Exam is in June. Well, let me finish my exams and then I'm done. And then, yeah, weather is bad. I've got... Uh, so... Kevin, one yes. pipeline. Do you do exercises? Yes. I love exercises. Yes, I do. I do. I do. I always. I always Maybe do. I should do a video when I'm doing some bit of exercise. Mm. Yeah, workouts. Because I love I working know. out. I love to dance, but because of mm. the way YouTube is, I cannot play my Ugandan nice musical lingala and dance. But I do that all the time. I was doing that even before I started cooking. But of course, mm. the copyright, I had to turn it off. Mm. No, so yeah. something like that because my passion is into I used to dance salsa so when I mm. met my husband back in Uganda I was mm. dragging him into this salsa bachata classes, kzomba, rumba that's why I love the mwakazis they are so interesting nice picture pen so the mwakazis they did a video recently when they were doing salsa I loved that Mm. I love salsa. It is so nice. It makes your whole. It gives you a whole new mood. <laughs> yeah. Simple. Edith is saying we have made her forget about her Bollywood movie she was watching. So she said. Oh, you look like a, a, a twenty years. I know. Girl. Pen, Pen has a vibe of a 20, 25 year old. That's why mm. I like her. <laughs> If she was if she was like my sister we would have mm -hmm. a lot in common i don't i don't well, want to be a complicated old woman when i grow up i want to be free mm 
So guys, let me say bye bye and end the live stream and go eat my food. Come join me. Let's eat. Please. Yeah. But you know, Ben told you to taste the beef. Oh, taste. We have to see the taste. Yeah. <laughs> Come down with me. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. You want to see me when it is burning me? Your followers. <laughs> <laughs> So let me show you guys. I put a lot of pepper and jalapenos and all this nice. Mm. Bring it closer, at least bring it closer. We can't see. That's this it. is no, the closest I can get because ah. it will drop. Okay. Ah. Let me get a pepper towel. Mm. It looks nice, isn't it? Mm. I'm swallowing. Some. <laughs> Come oh, yeah. and eat. <laughs> It looks nice, right? Mm -hmm. You touch carrot? Mm -hmm. You touch carrot? Yeah. Carrot? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, it's really tasty. You guys have missed and have put a lot of uh, <laughs> opinion. Yes. Mm -hmm. So give us okay. a recipe quickly. So you put meat. You put, so Kevin, what did you you put? See, so Kevin, you see why Mike wouldn't come back alone? Mm -hmm. These are some of the things. There's nothing magical. <laughs> I <There's> see. <laughs> what about the recipe? She's asking. Ben. Oh, the, the recipe. recipe. Yeah. What, yeah. What, you're asking for the recipe. Yeah. Yeah. Beef. You, you. You know the recipe. It's basically just vegetables and meat. So I had. Um, so. That's some type of beef that I've forgotten the name, but it's really some expensive beef. I think it's uh, organic. Who knows? Maybe not. But yeah. So, um, so you chop. I don't. I didn't have onions. <laughs> that that didn't. Of course, that it called for onions, tomatoes. Then I used green peppers. I used red pepper and the green pepper. All of them. I like vegetables. Then I used two carrots. And then I used a jalapeno one. Um, I used a can of tomatoes. And then I included the vegetable broth. And that's it. So usually what I do, though, my, my way, my Ugandan way, is I first simmer the vegetables together. I put in a bit of salt. Then I simmer them together for like 15 minutes. So when they get really, really soft is when I, oh, I forgot. So I have to brown the meat. Mm -hmm. In Uganda, what we do would uh, kind of roast it on the fire, sigiri, uh, charcoal stove, you know. But since we don't have the charcoal stove here, I brown it on the stove, on the pan. So I brown it. When it becomes brown, you pour out the liquid, which is usually the fat. And then once you've uh, put the vegetables into that tender position, it's like soup. Then you just pour the, um, the, the meat. But you also have a an option if you want to add the uh, meat tenderizer to make it really soft if it's like hard meat but meat here is not really hard i haven't seen any hard meat but in uganda most of the meat is a bit hard so if you want you can add the tenderizer uh, let, let it sit down for 30 minutes before you brown it so anyways then when you mix that you cover and you cook for 30 minutes on average heat or low heat and that's it you don't add a lot. Of, if you have spices, that is optional too. You can add those. But I like the jalapeno. It makes it taste so nice. It's a bit spicy, but we both like spicy food. I, I started liking spicy food when I got pregnant. I didn't like it. I wasn't into spices, but I had a friend who was Nigerian. You guys, Nigerians eat spices. They're like Indians. <laughs> so every time I would visit him, him and his brother would make uh, some, type, some type of fish, but they would add in a lot of spices. I remember I would eat and my tears would be ro <laughs> rolling down. <laughs> that is how spice, but it would be so good. So what they do, I think I should try that recipe. They would grind the peppers, the red peppers, the chili peppers, with the green peppers and tomatoes and uh, onions. They, the, you, um, how is it called? The blender that grinds the vegetables. Blend them. So you blend them 
Then you fry, you saute everything, then you pour into the fish. It's not like it's dry fish. So you get the meat of the fish, you mix it. You guys, it is so nice. It's like broth. It's like really thick broth with meat from the uh, fish. Then you eat with rice. I would eat it while crying, but it was so nice. <laughs> Tell us what you put in your hair to soften it and prevent. Please, we, we we don't we don't mix uh, Kenya. We don't mix the food. We just like our food, and that's it. <laughs> so you guys yeah. will oh, forever eat bugali. Yeah. Even, yeah. even if you don't like it, boozy, boozy, which is jamachoma. Uh, Ugali, chapo, pilau, and that's it. We don't mix. Yeah. Thank you, Simple Edith. I'm going to upload a video about my shower routine. I don't know how people are going to react to it. <laughs> but <laughs> oh, morning routine. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what's funny? People, people that uh, that do this shower routine, they're always shaving their legs. No, me who doesn't shave my legs. <laughs> Why do people shave their legs pen two five six? Yeah, because they have hairs, by the way. I don't have I don't have hair. I don't have hair. I don't shave. I also don't have, but I see what they are shaving. I don't even see the hair they are shaving. So I'm like, why do people shave? Even the arms, you see them passing the rest on the arm. I'm like, wait, what? That would hurt me so bad. <laughs> so twenty two five six. Just know, I don't know how, we, maybe I turn off comments, what, maybe people are going to insult me, I don't know. But I did a video of a shower routine. It's not too bad. It's just like hair, I'm washing my hair. Then I, I show you the products I use. And uh, also I show you the sponges. I have the these, I use this product, I use this product. But recently I found something that worked for me. It's the, the gloves and also it's a machine, that machine that vibe, that, uh, uh, how do you say, washes off, rather scrubs off the dead skin on your back. So maybe, maybe people will like it, who knows? You cannot know what YouTube will recommend. It's crazy. Like the video no. I did with a lady from, from Saudi Arabia, it went viral out of the blue. Okay, viral in my own way. Of course, not viral, one million views. You're muted. Yeah, what did she do? What did that lady do? No, the Adora. Oh, the one of oh, the one of the housemaid made made yes. made money. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I'm telling you, like, who knew that that video people would like it? So sometimes you do a video and you don't know how it's going to oh, to work. So I'll just keep trying. Who knows? But I'm still skeptical. I'm like, hey, should I upload this one or should I leave it? But <laughs> I will just go and try. But like uh, Edith said, I can show you the products I use for my hair to make it stay soft because I have natural hair. It gets really, 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 really dry, really dry. I've never seen my hair dry out so bad. And in fact, it hasn't been growing. Maybe because I don't straighten it. I don't even detangle most of the time because I'm like, why am I detangling? Because I'm not going to plate it. So it's why am I Because of the water. The water here is not good. The water is bad. So I feel like it's more air... of the weather. No, the because water. Because the weather here, it's not very humid. You see, no. there's no humidity. I feel like maybe, I don't know, because this is like almost a year old. And see how short. It's never been this short. When, when I came here, I had dreadlocks. And like from my own hair. But they, um, they, were, they were long. Then... I should probably make a video about that also. Then I failed to get a good saloon that was going to open my dreadlocks. They were temporary dreadlocks, but people didn't know how. I remember I went to a saloon. The lady was Senegalese. She was just struggling and struggling and struggling. When I finished that, I just went home and cut it off. <coughs> when I cut it off, it started struggling to grow. I regret why I cut it off. <laughs> Simple Edith is giving us a recipe. Ketchup, garlic, all ingredients, then wrap it in aluminum foil, then put it in the oven, yummy. So, Kevin, what pipeline? Go to yes, Uganda, get your girl, do a video about how you met, 
put her in her place <laughs> and we shall subscribe and watch. A story for another day, but not now. <laughs> but Kevin, are you dating or you are single? Hmm? Mine is complicated. Yours is complicated. <laughs> you, Liz, you missed. You missed. No, no money, no honey. He needs money. He needs money. I told you. I told you. Liz, it, it seems that you didn't get my point. No, I got it. Yeah. You said so, for yeah. now. You said for now. You just want to make money. Yeah. No, I got it. Yeah, but not now. Not now. Yeah, now you take, take, yeah, take, take your time. Now, take, take your yeah, time. Especially take, when the children start to come in, you're stuck. I'm telling you. Know, you. That, is, that, that is a joke. Yeah. Yeah. That's all. Okay, my friends. Let's go finally. I see 10 people still watching. <laughs> mm -hmm. But let's close <laughs> this. By to them. Yeah, it's we've been chatting for like an hour and a half. Yeah, let's support these guys with watch time. Please watch our other videos. Go to Kevin let Pipelines. Let's support each other, guys. Let's grow. Yeah, yeah let thank you guys for joining me. Like I'm going outside yeah. actually. I'm going to plant Irish potatoes mm -hmm. and 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 um, tomatoes, tomatoes, <laughs> American accent. Okay, yeah. let him smash the like button. Kevin, if you it. Kevin, if you had me when I'm working, you wouldn't know it's me talking. <laughs> it's only my husband is the one that makes jokes, he's like ah, these days, eh? <laughs> these days you don't even complain that people are, are, are asking about your accents, eh? So now your accent it's okay. Yes, it's tomato. Tomato, but, can I have some tomato, not okay, tomato? Please, let, let me ask you one you question. Can. What, Look, Kevin? Let me, please, let me ask you one question. Mm. Why people, someone can go to India for 10 years, but he or she, she can't come back with accent. But you say someone can stay like five months, only 50. Ah, and ah, with think, an accent. I think it depends, because for me, for, for example, for me, even in my videos, I've been talking like that since. But like I mm. said, if it's work, I don't even say work. Now I would be saying if it's work, because <laughs> you know why? When I started mm. working, I made a video about my experience on my first job. When I started working, people did not understand mm. me. And that frustrates mm. you and the caller because I was doing customer service. So for example, oh, okay. call in, and uh, mm. of course we have a, a system. I work from home, I can show you my setup. But mm. when people would call in, for example, I would say, what's your date of birth? Because that's my accent. What's your date of birth? And they said, what? What, what again? What are you talking about? And of course they didn't understand me. So at first I thought it, I took it personal. I was like, what's going on? People, blah, blah, blah. But then when I sat down, I, I remember my husband was like, but if somebody doesn't understand you, then why are you getting mad? If you don't understand them, you would also be asking them again. So make it easy for both parties. So I sat down and started practicing, you guys. It's crazy, but I did. I would say, so how do you say date of birth? Then he started teaching me. That's how I say it. So just try to say it like me. So when I'm talking to fellow, my fellow people like you, I'm not going to start claiming an accent, which I don't have. But when I'm working, I talk to them the way they talk to me. You get eh? Like if they say, oh, my date of birth is blah, blah, blah. You respond in the same accent so that the person will understand you. Trust me, it's been over eight months now. And people don't even bother me now with the accent issue. But at the start, ha. Mm. So even Penny will tell you, if you're working in a professional type of job, even if you have an Indian accent, you will have to adjust by mean, by any means possible so that when people want to understand what you're saying, because imagine you're explaining, oh, my card is stuck at the ATM, I'm stuck, what do I do? So you try to tell them, you know what? enter into a banking station, let me talk to an agent. So in, in that state, if the agent is saying, what, what are you saying? Because even you're trying so hard, you want her to understand what you're saying, and she's not, honestly. 
it's not up to you, but it's communication. It's two way. So I learned it the hard way. I had to sit down and learn and practice, and now it's been okay. So when people go to different countries and they come back all of a sudden with an accent, that one is a problem. It's called um, identity crisis. I don't have identity <laughs> crisis, and I cannot claim to, to be an American, be born here. Of course, I can be an American by citizenship, by marriage, but there, I cannot start pretending to be talking like them. But when I'm talking to them, I want them to understand me. That's the whole point. But when I'm talking to you, why am I going to start talking like, or, you know, what has been happening? And no, it doesn't make sense. And I see people do that. It's okay. It's okay. They want to be identified. Oh, I'm, I've been away from Uganda. I hope I don't feel like that because that's too sad. You must. It's like it's like we when I are. when I used to say I'm going to sa uh, the salon. When we're in Kenya, we say salon, but in England we say hairdressers. I'm going to the hairdresser. So salon is American as well, isn't it? For the hair. Actually, here yeah. they call it a barber shop. Barber. Okay. So, but we used to say in Kenya salons. I used to say people, I want to go to the salon. People look at me. And what here, are you this, if you say, for example, we say saloon in Uganda, it is a very wrong word because saloon means like a bar here. If you say saloon, they'll be like, is she talking of a bar? <laughs> so here you say barber shop <laughs> and all these things you learn on the job. Some of these things I didn't know. For example, gas station, we call it a petrol station or fuel station. But mostly I just say gas. I need to get gas for my car. I need to get Jesus Christ. So much to learn, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> you see, we say petrol. We say petrol. We are going to petrol. But America and English accent is different. You see? Yeah. Like I even I can change, I can change my accent from now to the Queen accent, like the way the 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 the, the, the royal will talk. So I can say to you, hello. How are you today? And this is a royal kind of accent. Hmm? By or the today, way, I like I like the I, decided, I would do anything to get the British accent. Oh that's my what I'm God. You say today, I decided I'm going to go and have my it. dinner. And you're doing it like... Hmm? I love the British accent. Oh my God. It's just like yeah. a turn on for me. If I hear yeah. people speaking, so I went and I, I was like, oh my God, they sound so good. And it's funny and you know, because and you know the more they talk posh, like if they go like um how how like they'll say um I'm going into London, if they speak like that, very slow and very like in a Prince Charles, they are very educated, they've been to posh schools. We call it the posh schools. So you'll hear someone saying to you, Um, yeah, I want to go to the library. When they talk like that, they've been to an expensive school. So when you meet oh someone like God. that, you adjust yourself. You Kevin, adjust what yourself. do you think? Yeah. Because don't, do you love the British accent or the accent from here? I don't. No, you know, I have not. I have not come close to, to them now. No, but you, you watch movies, don't you know the difference? At least, I think for me, the British okay. accent has been. I like it. I when I watch movies, the way they talk, it's so nice. I can't even fake it, but I like it. But a lot of people will tell you in the UK, they get confused because you've got the Scottish accent, you've got the Irish accent, you've got the English accent, and they can talk to you and you get confused because they talk very quickly. Because they can just say, hi, how are you? What are you doing? Da, 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 da. And you'll be like, you ready yeah. Eat, so if your English is not good, you will struggle. You'll struggle. Yeah. So. But... Mm, Simple Edith, she has been with us for a long time, but from when we started, she says she's in the Arabic, what? I'm in the Arab world, but I have an Arabic accent. <laughs> Somebody's trying to join, I don't know who it is, but their network is failing. I don't know if we'll end this live stream. John Kenneth, I think John Kenneth is Kenyan. I think he has joined my live stream before. But you know, StreamYard is weird. If you have a weak network, you can't join. But by the way, Kevo, what do you use? Your internet is so good. You never sleep, that's why. <laughs> this day, okay. Mostly the internet I'm using, it is from the job. 
Go to oh, internet. the Wi-Fi. Yeah. Uh, now yeah. that I know yeah. you have yeah. Wi-Fi, go to my playlist yeah. Wi-Fi. and play Connected. them all. No, no, no. This one, okay, when I'm, uh, I'm at job, like now, this I'm using the Wi-Fi from the job, but when I'm at home, I'm using another one. Mm. Mm. Yeah, but no, this one is strong. Kenya this has one is strong. internet. Yeah, yeah, Kenya's good internet. You, you can see when the old city, Ponichal, the way he was saying, you want to come Kenya because of no. internet. Meaning Uganda, the internet of Uganda is a bit slow. Hey, don't say a bit. Slow. Yeah. Quad. It's backwards. Ba- buffering. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, why please, even the you know? elections, they said, they, 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 huh? Yeah, but Lee, you everything. know the, the government, they put a balloon up in it for rural area. North of Ni- north of Kenya have a balloon for Wi-Fi. Please, did you know this? The government put a balloon. Yeah. Kenya, you are high above us. May God bless you, Kenya. May God bless Musaiga. I lived in Musaiga. <laughs> I miss it. Kenya is abroad in East Africa. I lived in Musaiga, I loved it. Musaiga, not Musaiga. It's called Musaiga. Yeah. No, Musaiga, not Musaiga. <laughs> Musaiga, <laughs> not Musaiga. <laughs> Musaiga. Musaiga? <laughs> yeah, Musaiga, yeah. <laughs> Fan. <laughs> Hmm? Let me leave you to go prepare dinner for the my son, yeah. For, and I for, made him a son. for someone's uh, boyfriend. <laughs> my son, yeah. For someone's boyfriend. Very soon you will be shocked to bring you a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> pen, pen is going to panic and sweat. And to the PM I to told someone. Him, I told him if you I don't care who you bring. As long as they can take my plate and take it to the kitchen. <laughs> what about Slay Queen? Hey, what he's going to bring Slay Queen with Slay long Queen. nails like this. <laughs> yeah, well, let's, see, let's see if he wants to be on the live. He's coming. Let's see if he wants to be on the live. Let him you, say hello to me. Please, I'm not a please, bad please, person. Please, 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 please. Can what, you say okay. hi? Say hi to your, to your friend. He's coming to say hi. He's coming to say hi. Yeah. Say hi. 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 Yeah. Come this way. Come this way. <laughs> Can you see them? Go. There. Look <laughs> at the hair. Look. Go we down like a bit. Your Look. Hair. Wow, that's beautiful hair. Is it curly mm-hmm. like Luna's? Yeah. So you're right. Yeah. I'll cook you some dinner a bit. Yeah. So how old is he, Kevin? How people are going to ask me for your number now that they've huh? seen me? Who? Now the young girls are going to ask me for your number. Seventeen. He's seventeen. January. January. You'll be eighteen. Oh, he's still young. Under eighteen. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. But the ladies can book. No problem. (laughs) They can book in advance, huh? (laughs) (laughs) The one I say he. eh? Uh, Oh, say hi to him. Hi to him. See, the ladies have started. Flavia, I'm joking. Don't take it personal. Ben, ben, you should give us your email. Send My people to go to your finished. channel. My wine is finished, so channel. the live stream should end also. Tell people to go to your channel and uh, go to the site of About and they'll check your email there so that. So, you have so, they can book, so that they can book the boy. Yeah. <laughs> the, one who, the one who is serious. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. My wine is mm-hmm. finished, so the live stream ends with the wine. See you guys. Ciao, ciao. Okay. We shall catch up. Kevin, thank you, thank you so much for joining. Pen, I appreciate. Mwah, 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 mwah. Okay, bye. You're bye. welcome. Bye-bye, guys. Thank you. Bye.